Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. Last time we left off, we pretty much kicked that absolute living, absolute living crap out of Boo. Now we'll finish him off with Piccolo. If we don't, that'll suck, but... We should be able to take this on, and... We may potentially be able to get to the final stage today. Because there's two stages left. And the next one is... If I'm good enough, I should be able to beat and go straight to the last stage. But even if we don't, this series ain't gonna be more than probably four more videos at the most. It's been a while since I recorded too. Because I've been hanging out with a lot of family. Well, not a lot of family, but with my family a lot more here recently. Because Labor Day weekend and all that, they had the time off. Pretty easy fight because, well, surprisingly enough, it's not that difficult here. Yeah, hey, I like the name. Did I even show that one off? Yeah, there's nothing you can do to save good things, you always lose them. Because, story. I think we saved Piccolo. Okay, yeah, we did save Piccolo, so we can actually use him. And to skip the entire part about boot, about the uh, entrance to the hyperbolic time chamber being destroyed, and Boo scream, literally screaming his way out. What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. He's not quite dead yet. Sorry to worry you, Dad. I've been training with the Supreme Kai. In any case, I'm here now. Let's go defeat Majin Buu. Yeah, you want to carry along? And the audio decides to turn off. I I swear this is just my game because I I will remember this stuff being voice acted and everything. So I don't know. I mean, it sucks because I. I swear this voice acting. Yep, the tar earrings. We might be able to skip that. Alright, who do we bring with us? Hmm, I think we've used everyone except for these two, so let's go bring with Adele in. She probably won't fight, I'll be entirely honest. And right, we're gonna try and do the objective, don't worry. We're going to try to do that. Skills again. I always forget this button. This one. Yeah. Oh, she's good. Turn that off. Move over there. And this is where we can attempt to beat defeat Boo as fast as possible. I if I can beat him here, if I can beat him, we actually might just be able to straight up skip the stage. Oh no! And this is why I haven't chosen Gohan yet, because he's in this level. And he is. I believe he's the only character we actually ever get that buffed. A little bit, I believe, actually. I think we start off in purple health? No, blue, I think. Can't remember. Probably still green, actually. Let's see, if I'm wrong, I might. I'm, I don't know if I'm wrong or if I'm right. Okay, let's see. Let's see. 
Yeah, when you're fighting this boot, you want to be really defensive because he has some really cheap shots. Like that one. I'm just getting hit multiple times in a row. I honestly thought that said badass, Lou, but that's why this game's for some reason like T15. I think it's because there's no blood. I don't think there's no offensive language in either, which is surprising. Yeah, there we go. We might be able to just. Yeah, I can't see. Can't. Mm. You ever have one of those moments where you just pissed off yourself because you can't talk? That's how I feel right now. But either way, we're gonna keep moving these two up. We're gonna we're doing this just in case Gohan we do lose Gohan, so we can actually be ready for the actual part that we're supposed to do. Because if we lose Gohan. Because every time, I think every time we beat Boo, he powers up, which is annoying. I.e., his AI becomes harder. But, we might be able to beat him still. I'm hoping we can, because I really just want to cheese the stage. <laughs> And you feel bad, but I'm just looking at Dragon Ball Super. Literally everyone is stronger than you. And you don't fight at all. Alright, let's see if we can do it again. We don't need, if we do it again, we only need to do it one more time. And if I could do that, I'll be way, way happy because it's been a long time since I've actually done this. And I don't know if I'd be good enough. But then again, I play a lot more defensive now, which is a good thing. Yeah, he does that attack a lot, too. We're already doing worse than we did the first time. Every time. I should just stop guard. I should just guard, period, until they break it. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, game. Okay, we win. Because even if I don't get this, I should be able to be. It should be enough damage to kill him, just that. But just in case. Alright, one more time, and we have beaten this stage the very in unintended way, but it works. Alright, he didn't? Okay, no, he did bow up. So let's see. Can I beat him at probably his highest AI? He's a lot more powerful because now he's a lot more difficult. Pulling out all the tricks from the bag this time. I'm gonna take him over here because we get the hiccups. Okay. And I want, like to have a bit more concentration than sitting here hiccuping halfway through. Because this is going to be difficult. But if I can do it, that'd be great. Because then we beat this stage. There we go, that's a good start. Yeah, that's 
I'm gonna get start. You notice how his attacks are doing more damage, I believe? This is why we need the guard. If you haven't learned the guard by this point, you're in trouble. I think we all played Dragon Ball um, Budokai 1 first, so I know how to guard regularly. Why? Well, everything. <laughs> why? Because I could not beat that game without guarding. That is stage nine or eight, I think. Done in two turns. <laughs> there we go. He goes through stage two now. Yep. We sorry, we won't get to see Vegito. But you know, he's kind of. Oh well. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to be doing a full playthrough. I said I was going to be beating the game. I hope you enjoy really weird sounding screams. Because there's quite a few. And there we go. Kid Bear. This, this can't be. He has returned. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not close to what that is. And there we go, this stage, like 9 or 8, and at the stage 8, because stage 10 is the one that Japanese has exclusively. Goku, I'm asking you, all of you, please save the universe. Yeah, there we go. This is the last stage in the game, and we have every character to choose from. No limits. So, Vegeta. And we have not used Tokyo yet, and technically he was here. So. Call me an ass, but I'm bringing Tokyo into this. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, this button. And for whatever reason. Wait for it. Well, okay, what? Well, it's not here yet, but here in a moment we will actually see something that you would not expect to see at this point in a game. <laughs> but the, they'll be here, don't worry. And I meant to move Vegeta, by the way. I, 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 I always accidentally if I circle or skip your turn. Triangle is the one that you want to press if you want to back out. I don't even want to give you an option to skip your turn. There's no point. Even in Hogs of War, it's more useful. Oh yeah, and the Cybermen are stronger too. Cybermen and another enemy are also have gotten stronger. Not a whole lot, and mind you, it's still Cybermen. It's no, it's not gonna be anything I can do. It's probably about, I'd say about Vegeta level difficulty. Are you still not that hard?
estoy. This is the main reason they can't, they become sort of difficult because it's three of them now, so I have to deal with about six health bars. But they're not actually that hard in AI wise. And sorry about your ears. There we go. Sorry about that. And there goes my voice. Great, because I gotta record another video after this, because I'm gonna try and upload two videos a day, just about. Well, for today, today I'm gonna try and do two videos, of two videos because last week we kind of got cut short on videos. Hey, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan, which is in here. Who could this be? Oh no, it's Fiza. They give no explanation why he's here. Also, this guy. Zero explanation why he's here. And they're not any more difficult than they were. Yeah, and Cell Gearing is just fine. There we go. Our right, turn is over. Yeah, most computers won't move at all. You really want to kill the Cell Juniors because they will just you stay on like the Dende pads and heal. It will be at full health and just stay there. So I want to take care of this one first. And we're gonna take a we're gonna kill everyone on this stage. Kid Boo will be the last one, probably in the next video. Well, actually, there'll probably be about two videos on this still because. And we'll see how far we make it, because I don't plan on recording forever, of course. Probably about 20, 25 minutes, somewhere in there is where I'll, where I'll call the video. And you gotta, you gotta love these small characters, they're a pain in the butt because I can't hit them. Hey, look at that, my attacks are literally going over his head. Because now the one air, I can do something again. Yeah, if you can tell these guys got a little harder too. Alright. There we go. That's that Cell Junior now. The Cell Juniors are annoying because they will run around and just do everything. And you really do want to get to the health. Because the health will help out a lot. That is very appropriate of Vegeta to call a Cyberman a weakling because he was able to take them on as a child. Oh no, we only have half health. That that honestly could be a bit difficult. Depending on how many Cybermen there are. There's only two. Should be fine. If there's three, it might be a little difficult because they are they are harder. We haven't fully used Vegeta, have we? We only used him in the one stage, and even then, he only got the fight like once. Uh, let's see. I want to try and get some fancy stuff off here. I want to try and get that one. Okay. How do we do it? That and that. No, well, that's not too bad. Nope, he died. That going. <laughs> we had the combo and everything. Okay, there was only two of them, apparently. No other. There we go. The reason I'm going to defeat every, every enemy is because it's the final stage, so we. There's really no reason not to. 
And yes, Haruko's going to fight you. That's Haruko's old champion. Yeah, this is still before Hokyo was a joke as well. Not a terrible character. Not the best one, but he's not terrible. He actually has some decent moves. And, you know, instead of like, in, like Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, where he has almost no AI and almost no computer entirely, he can be just as difficult as Super Boo, depending on what difficulty you put him on. Yeah, the only problem is, yeah, it's still small enemies. Oh, yeah, that's actually a pretty good move. Because it can hit these small enemies pretty easily. Your special. It's the same combo for Big Bang. No, that's not it. The annoying part is that you have to hit them. I pressed the wrong one. Ah, come on. I want to see this. I want to see this. I'm. Screw you. No, but then I agree. Oh, I didn't have no key. Hey, we got it. It does no damage, but it's hilarious. It does practically no damage at all, but it's hilarious. Because it works with any enemy. You, we can do that to Freezer, the Cell, even Kid Boo, we can do that too, which I'm going to attempt to. Vegeta around the back half of the cell here. Yeah, there we go. And I chose Vegeta because it's just kind of fitting. Because here in this, here, technically at this point it was just Vegeta, Goku, and Hokyo. And Dende, but he's not a playable fighter. For obvious reasons, he's not really a fighter. Either way though, I think this is going to be the last fight for the video. Because we're one up on that time, where it's like, yeah. Oh, there's only one this time, really. Never can hit him from my edge. There we go. I'm going to say that's a video there, because like, we're not running out of time or anything, but eh, 22 minutes, 23-ish, it's pretty good, that's good enough time. Alright. Yeah, they'd have to fight. So, what's, yeah, I'm going to say that's a video there. But, we honestly might be able to beat this game when we come back next time. Because, let's see. One, two, three, four. There's only five opponents left on this stage. And Freezer and Cell are still at their original difficulty, so they're not hard at all. Kid Boo, on otherwise, on the other hand, is actually the strongest part in the game. Either way, though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one with the Hotchess Golf video, which will hopefully be up later today, if not tomorrow. Either way though, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you later. Have a good day.